Hey guys, it's Diana, your Jamberry Nails Consultant, and today I will be showing you guys how to apply your jams with the curling iron. I know my last video was a little fast, and actually it was a bit fast, and I wasn't actually talking, um, so I will be showing you um, with words, and I will be talking, and I will be, it'll be a lot slower, so um, I will be showing um, how to do one nail, not all nails. Um, and so let's start. First, you'll want to clean your nail with um, alcohol, an alcohol wipe, or with a cotton ball and your alcohol. Clean, clean, clean. Clean that nail. Um, I usually start with my right hand, which is the hand I write with. Um, so um, I'll apply the nails, or the nail, the nail wraps, and then file down, and then I'll do my left hand. Um, but today I'm, of course, only showing you one nail for the sake of time. <laughs> okay. So then the next thing you'll want to do is uh, you'll want to push back your cuticles. You can use a wooden stick, or um, I like this rubber cuticle pusher um, that you can get on my website, and it's from Jamberry. Um, it's awesome. I love this thing. So you'll want to push back your cuticles. And the link to my website will be in this, um, in my biography or the description of this video. So push back your cuticles. My son is crying. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, so we've pushed back our cuticles, and the next thing you want to do, which my son has my <laughs> cuticle pusher, and I just can't have him chewing on it, God forbid. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is grab your nail wraps. Here's a sheet. Of course, I've already used um, three. Three. Um, this is leftover accent. Um, I get. I get the most out of this <laughs> and I'm saving all uh, tons of money um, $15 for one sheet you get two pedicures two manicures and a whole lot of accent sheets action accent nails sorry all right so the clear back sheet is amazing I'm going to do my little pinky now um, and you'll want to measure you see these are way too big <laughs> So I'm going to go with the first one, which is like perfect. And I'm going to grab the nail wrap with my tweezers. Um, see how I'm doing it here? And then you'll want to cut it with scissors. Hopefully these scissors work. Mine I cannot find. And I cut to where I think... Um, my nail to, to like, I cut to where my nail is, um, to how long I think my nail is, is what I'm trying to say. Um, plus a little bit more so that, um, when I apply, sometimes I have to touch it at the end, like the end end where I'm, it's not going to go on my nail. Um, you don't want to touch this thing because of the, uh, oils in your nails. Okay. I um, put the tweezers, like, place the tweezers on the curling iron. You're going to see this nail wrap curl. You see it? It's curling. That means it's heating up really good. You see? Okay. So that's heated. I don't want my son getting a hold of this curling iron. God forbid. All right. So then I just apply the nail wrap on my nail, and like I said, um, sometimes I get it spot on with the, with the tweezers, but sometimes I have to touch the nail wrap with my nail, uh, with my hand, with my finger. Okay. See, like now I, I have to, I have to redo it. So I'm just going to grab it with like the tip and replace it to where it's like perfectly on there we go I didn't touch the part that's gonna go on my nail at all 
because then it'll cause what happens is the nails from your fingers get um, have oils and when the oils get on your um, jamberry nail wrap um, then it can cause lifting and bubbling and then it doesn't last as long as you want it to all right so I just go back and I heat it up with the curling iron the mini heater is amazing that thing is like 19 bucks plus uh, shipping and handling um, but if you don't have a mini heater, you can use a blow dryer, but I like the curling iron option a lot better because I feel like it lasts longer and with the blow dryer, my nail wraps just go everywhere. <laughs> it gets kind of messy, I think, but I mean, whatever works for you guys, uh, the mini heater of course is the best, but if you just, if you're just, you know, starting out and you want to try it out, um, then I think the best would be the curling iron, which is why I'm teaching I, teaching you guys how to use the curling iron. All right, so you'll want to face your finger towards you and cut to where your nail is. Cut, cut, cut. And then, you know, finish your hand and then go back and file. Um, so it gives the, the heat time to, like, seal the, the nail wrap. All right, so for the sake of time, I'm going to just file it down to show you how to do it. And so you'll want to go in a downward motion. My son is trying to get to all my stuff. No. <laughs> Stop. Leave me alone. I'm trying to do something. <laughs> just kidding. All right. File down. Oops. Sorry. File down. And you'll see it, like, rolling off, like, the... The leftover wrap that's on your nail you can just rip it off you don't want to file sideways because then you you'll probably cause lifting on your nail wrap so the best way to do is the best way to do is to you know go downward and there's that um, once I'm done with like all my nails I like to go back and reheat it again so that it, I know that it's like securely, securely on. But here it is. Try to, it's not focusing. Maybe, oh, there you go. Perfect. Nice and beautiful. And this baby will last me um, up to two weeks. And there we go. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video, and if you have any questions, just text me, email me, message me, uh, write me a letter in the mail. I like receiving mail. Just kidding. Um, and if, yeah, just really, I'm here for you, and I'm here to help, so just let me know. Love you guys. God bless. One more thing I forgot to tell you guys is um, if you find that the nail wrap is bubbling up or you didn't get like a really good seal, I like to go back with the tweezer, heat it up on your curling iron um, or your mini heater, whatever you have. Um, heat that baby up, make sure it's like really hot, and then apply it to where your bubble is or where it's lifting and it should get on there perfectly fine. So, um, I had a friend who um, had that problem. I actually have that problem sometimes when I don't, when I'm in a rush or whatever, and I just, get these babies out, heat them up like really hot, and then apply it on the nail and it goes back down perfect and fine. All right, love you guys.